You guys are getting a double fucking review today. Um, I'm going to do uh, Nas Amato's uh, Baronda. I've been meaning to smell this one for a long time. I think I'm like a couple years late, but what am I? What can I do? <laughs> I only have so much money for fragrances. So Baronda was getting a lot of hype in the community for a long time. Is the best Nasa model, and what do I want to say that Baronda smells like? I have a, I have quite a few analogies that I would give this. Um, so roll with me here. I'm at the. Think, oh, she's a babe. She watches my reviews sometimes too. Anyway, now she's gonna be like Clayton. Was that about me? And it might have been, but you don't know. Um, lost my train of thought. I got a few associations to give with this fragrance. Um, Baronda. So I want to say at first, this does transition. This is not a linear fragrance to me. When it first starts off, within minutes, like it goes away after, you know, it's very quick. But the very first blast of this, the whiskey rum kind of smell is very strong. It's it's very strong, right? This only lasts for so many minutes though, right? Then there is a bit of an awkward kind of transition for a few minutes or whatever, right? Going into this next... Uh, part of the fragrance right and when this was going on i was like because when i first smelled the first like few minutes of it i was like well this is a this is one of the most boozy fragrances i've smelled in a while right like this is very boozy right very strong alcoholic smell right not like a you know very strong alcohol not like a perfumeless alcohol but you know whiskey rum kind of smell right very strong at first then there's a few minutes of an awkward kind of transition when i've tried this that kind of made me think like man this is smelling niche and kind of a potentially negative kind of way i was like man this is kind of smelling a little bit out there i'm kind of surprised that people are saying this is so good right like this is smelling niche in the potentially bad way but then that went away really quickly and you transition into a long lasting um i would describe it as and maybe it's because of the association it's hard not to sometimes Kind of like when you think of, again, because of this whiskey and oak barrels and dried fruits and blah, 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 you think of something like pure malt, right? And I would describe this as a harsher, rougher, pure malt in a way, right? Like imagine you bring over your girlfriend, you wear pure malt, but then your dad wears Nasa Mano's Baranda. And she's got a fucking daddy thing, right? Like she's uh, she's flirting with your fucking dad, and your dad, you're not his real son, so he's gonna fuck her anyway. <laughs> he's he, he does the girlfriend anyway, dude, right? Do you know what I mean? It's like a harsher, um, pure malt almost to me, right? Or vibe. Hopefully, you get what I'm saying. I'm trying to like describe a vibe for you guys, right? And then as that's like transitioning more and more, the fruit kind of like goes away, you know what I mean? Or the more sweetness, and you get kind of a almost a more Leaning towards a let's call it Mason Mark Mason Martin Margiela's whatever by the fireplace almost right maybe like a mixture of that right so if I were to describe that face imagine again I'm trying to make this interesting for you guys um so you have these imagine there's these whiskey again I I feel like I automatically am thinking of like Angel Men Pure Malt or something like that right imagine you have these oak whiskey barrels right and imagine that um you have this like whiskey rum whatever in these barrels right but you made that out of like firewood or something like that like a campfire right and the whiskey and rum whatever um and maybe someone even next to you is drinking because i've gotten different facets of different kinds of like fruits and boozy kind of nuances at points when I've smelled this, I've even got a bit of like an apple kind of thing. So maybe your friend next to you in the campfire was drinking a bit of apple cider. And so there's a speck of alcohol hit the fire. And then an ember of that apple cider speck hit your firewood mug that you're going to make, right? That was, and it's just got this like, so you made this like firewood mug, right? And it's got a sort of caramelized vanilla, a little bit of dried fruits, whiskey, kind of coating on the mug still, right? So it's still kind of like, it's still kind of, you know, niche in the way that a lot of more niche fragrances, I feel are more kind of like woody in a rough kind of way. 
a little bit smoky. You know what I mean? But it's still got some of that, maybe from what you were drinking, it's got a bit of that little crusted sweetness on it. You know what I mean? That is still on the mug. Maybe a speck of an ember of fire, of apple cider, another speck of dry fruit, a little bit of a caramel glazing got on it, a little bit of vanilla, but very strong, you know, still uh, like a firewood, kind of like a more, again, I'm thinking like more niche, you know what I mean? Because at points of this fragrance, I have thought that it smells pretty niche, right? Not unwearable in a bad way, but it does smell a little bit more manly than you think, I guess. So yeah, that's what I would say. At first, hopefully you guys rolled with me here. That was a lot. At first, again, very strong whiskey, kind of rum, kind of the alcohol smell. Very strong, right? This does not last for a long time, though. So it's not like you're going to be, say, like, straight to heaven. You could smell like you've been drinking a lot, right? You know what I mean? Uh, that strong alcoholic association does not last for a long time. Then there's a quick sort of, I've gotten sort of like a awkward transitional phase that made me think it might be out there. But then it went into a rough pure malt kind of ish smell. You know, maybe the daddy pure malt that your girlfriend is. Well, your girlfriend, what is she doing? You thought she loved you, but she fucking doesn't. Um, and then it transitions into almost a Mason Martin Jello by the fireplace. You know what I mean? Firewood with other, you know, crusted sweetness on it and different aspects of it so mix those all together that's what i got with it dude so that was a long review um can't tell you how it's going to do for compliments because i just don't have the money i just got a sample guys i mean i would love to i would love to i'm still into fragrances but they're just so much money you know so that was my review of it performance is good that's no, fine so that's my re review of that um and i know i just did two reviews I would love to do more compliments that I could say for these fragrances, but, you know, I'm just so busy with doctor stuff and other real life stuff is, you know, I don't want to lie about compliments, you know what I mean? So I can't tell you how compliments are doing for some of these newer fragrances because I just haven't tested them enough. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Man.